Chapter 5. Combatants, I present this latest creation of Shao Kahn. Yep, Ermac's around as early as MK1. Warriors, their souls fused into one being. Behold, Ermac. Ermac. I am Ermac. Well, oh, okay, technically, we are Ermac. See, one thing, one thing I missed the most in the original timeline was Ermac be, uh, becoming a hero. God, that was really cool. Be wary, Liu Kang. He is unlike anything you have fought before. Liu Kang, you are the sole Earthrealm warrior to progress to this final... But how did he progress? He's not had a match yet. I am ready. We are ready. You are one. We will destroy you. I prefer his... Um, Entrance pose no, version fight. of that line instead. Uh, we are many, you are but one. Not much of a difference, but it, but it, I think it works better. Also, uh, Max voice actor Michael McConaughey is also Kano. I think he played another character in uh, in uh, MK vs DC, but I forget. How do you do the flying kick? See, again, they changed all the inputs because because he was always designed to be the easy character, the one that was just. Easy to pick up and play forward, forward. But here it's like back, forward. Then this was supposed to be like down, forward. Now it's back, back, forward. Like <laughs> Badoom! <laughs> Take that. But yeah, I, I loved Ermac becoming a hero because the idea was after Shao Kahn's supposed death in Deadly Alliance, Ermac didn't have anyone to control him anymore. And so he kind of just developed free will. And then he, and then to like kind of redeem himself for the evil he committed because he wanted to be a good person. He, he helped Liu Kang's quest to save his uh, allies who were under Ornaka's mind control. Which is a subject I'll have to bring up again later in, in the, the playthrough. If only because it's something worth bringing up, I find. Imagine you could just kick him out the window right now. And then, you, then you can see the fight outside. Earth Realm will not fall into your master's hands. Yeah, Ermach. Ermach. And they just, then they all just fuck off. He is a greater threat than anticipated. I will ensure he does not reach the final challenge. That's another voice actor that needs um, need, that, that needs to be uh, praised. Karen Strassman as Kitana. Another really great performance in the game. Also have to give the, the, the writers credit for trying to make Liu Kang and Kitana's relationship into something in this game instead of just happening. Remember Bo Raicho's teachings. Yeah. For my vision to be Remember Bo Raicho who does not appear in this game because we put Quan Chi in instead. Your visions. What causes them? My future self sent them to me, perhaps to ensure some outcome, or to prevent one. But the thing is, Liu Kang, I don't he know. Must win. Uh, who is he? I mean, he must win. my future self had no time at Those all last words to explain. I, die. I believe it is you who must win. This amulet was forged by the Elder Gods. It cracked here in the present after my first vision. If we choose wisely, the future will be secured and the cracks healed. I trust you will that make the right decision. That opens some massive plot holes. It really does. Gods, Liu Kang. I mean, I think I get why they did it, but it opens this huge plot hole that I'll have to discuss later on, or at least in the review. Now, if you watch this all the way through, I hope you'll watch the review when that comes out. Eventually. But yeah, it's like, apparently, apparently Future Raiden had no time to explain who must win or when, even though he had like two seconds before Shao Kahn caved his skull in. You're good. Show me more. Do not underestimate me, Shaolin. Honestly, I think, I think, honestly, really, I think the whole thing would have been a lot better if the story, had if the story for the game had just straight up been, let's just retell MK1 to 3 as they originally were with some retcons in. That would have been a way better story. Because it wouldn't have trampled on the legacy of the franchise by basically saying, oh, like, 
all this bullshit happens that just ruins everything. Oh, what's he throw, actually? Fucking hell, violent. It's kind of funny because Liu Kang in MK1, his face hearted it wasn't even really a kill. It was, I think it was just a, I think it was just a, like a, a cartwheel in an uppercut. And then pe people were like, that's shit. I, I, that's, I mean, I get it, the Shaolin Monkey's not supposed to kill people. But, but people were just like, that's, that's bullshit. That's, that's, that's not a fatality. But then, then Shaolin Monk took it way too far. And like, all of a sudden, he, he and Kung Lao just murdering people left and right in these horrible ways. Like curb stomps and shit. I'm impressed. I'm not. Do it. Do what? Kill me. I just love how the cutscenes always that? assume that I came to kill you. the characters stay on the same I side they started. My father, my emperor. Shao Kahn is your father? I have disgraced him. Look, you must he's sitting like Shaolin Monk who has never heard of Shao Kahn. This encounter never took place. You have disgraced no one. See, there's really no reason for him to be so kind to Kitana other than to set up their relationship. Meet again. Under different circumstances. It's like in a prequel where characters have no reason to, to make take certain actions towards certain other characters, aside from the fact they have to live. Like, why did Obi-Wan not just finish off Anakin? Because he couldn't, because it had already been established that he survived. You know, stuff like that. And Kitana's just like, hmm, I want that D. See, Jack hasn't been in the tournament yet. Jax has not had a tournament battle. Why? But is he ready to bear such a heavy Why isn't Shiva in the tournament? And Kano? Your opponent will well, be hmm. Scorpion. Well, has there been a tournament battle involving Kano? Was the fight with Sonya tournament sanction match? Quan <laughs> yep. And I hate how Quan Chi's uh, tattoos are still there. The tattoos were from Deadly Alliance when he found the Dragon King's tomb. That's when he, he branded these things into his skin so that he could remember he could remember these these uh, symbols. So when he, he performed certain incantations, and but now it's just like oh he just always had them. No, no he's not. He only got him in Deadly Alliance, which is the fifth game in the storyline, the main, like, main series. And this is the events of MK1. And he blocked the fucking X-Ray. He fucking blocked it! Damn it, Scorpion, I'm supposed to like you! I'm, tr I'm trying to... I want to like you, Scorpion. Stop, bull Stop being a bullshit motherfucker. Oh, you should have let Quan Chi do that. Then, then it could, then it could be, be more justified in hating him. What the fuck?! What?! What the fuck has happened? Wins. Yeah, because that's not a complete waste of energy, that Round teleport. Fight. Damn it. The thing is, Quan Chi was, was made for the cartoon, then they brought him over to the game because I guess people liked him, at least the devs did. And it became this weird disc, this fucking weird discount Shang Tsung for the, for the MK4 story. You motherfucker! You motherfucker using Scorpion like that! What the fuck, Quan Chi? See, like, now I'm, I'm more justified in hating it. The bastard. No! 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 I didn't mean to x ray you, Scorpion. It was, I was aiming at Quan Chi. You saw it! You saw it! Damn it! I'm dead. <laughs> you got me. Round one. Fight. One thing I'm really glad about this game though is that they actually redesigned Liu Kang's face on MK vs DCU. There's something really odd about his, about the way his face looks. Which, you know, it's kind of it's kind of weird that um, that they did that. Like they did the face the way, the way it looks oddly small, especially in the eyes. I mean, maybe they were trying to make him look more Asian, which is weird because Scorpion's Asian, Sub Zero's Asian, but they didn't do anything like that with them. The thing is, though, Quan Chi was supposed to be a DLC character in MK vs DCU, but I think the troubles with were midway closed down, prevented that from happening. 
Damn it! He tanked up to Scorpion and Scorpion fucking teleported the move, so I didn't even get to do it on him. But yeah, Quantum is meant to be a playable and a DLC character in game versus ECU. I would have loved that. Just so I could see all, all, the, all that game's fatalities and heroic brutalities done on him. Especially Green Lanterns, because Green Lantern has the most violent finisher in that fucking game. I know Scorpion sets the opponent on fire, but Green Lantern crushes the bones, and that's super violent. And, that, and that's fucking, you know, it's fucking brutal. Damn it, I'm not trying to do that, I'm trying to do the bicycle kick. Take this, you bitch! It's actually changed the way the bicycle kick works now. Instead of his body being horizontal when he does it, well, well his legs being horizontal, now, now, now they're diagonal. Yeah! Hit, hit me, I dare you. Come on. Hit me. Hit me, baby, one more time! No, not trance! No! You bastard! Luke you motherfucker! Luke. I was gonna do an x-ray and you're like, ha <laughs> block! I said, I do not fear you. I pity you. Oh, wait, he pities him. In that a line he said to Shang Tsung originally, in the well, movie. But the tournament is not yet over. Goro. Goro. What's a Goro? It's interesting that this is the first Goro has been mentioned. It has been years since Even though has the MK1 comic showed that Goro was shown off immediately. Far beyond your ability. To the lair with you. It's, lovely. It's, it's, it's a proper tournament battle. And yet, he's being sent to Goro's lair where no one else can see him. Wait, didn't his body tilt forward? How'd he land on his back? That's dumb. That, that's really dumb. And then he gets up and he's like... Oh, what? See, why does Goro have a throne down here? I did not expect to fight in this tournament. But eventually, even the Shaolin produce a warrior worthy of Shogun. His animation's so weird and I don't I like his face. I am ready for you. I think it's the nose. There's just something about his face that I don't like. So it seems that really getting the PS3 version of this game has just caused more problems than, than, any, than anything. The only actually the only reason I did it was so I can record all the finishes being done on Quan Chi, and that includes um, the um, uh, Kratos because Kratos was in this game in God of War. Only in, the, only in the PlayStation version. They won't get the Vita version, because the Vita version, well, the graphics aren't as good. I've, I've seen what the fatalities look like in that version. Yeah! Take that, you bitch! No! No! Uh -huh. I wish I would do a, do a, like a HD version of Shaolin Monks, or at least as part of that um, that, 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 that PS2 games on PS4 uh, initiative thing. Just a version of Shaolin Monks available. Because Shaolin Monks had really good gameplay. I mean, there are a few things about the story that were really weird, like the fact that. All of a sudden, Katana wasn't just raised to think Khan was a father. She was under mind control. And Jade may have been. And Liu Kang and, and Katana's relationship comes out of nowhere, despite the fact that Liu Kang, just earlier in the game, stabbed her best friend in the face and killed her. Take that! It seems the Shaolin trained a warrior greater than the Shokan. Yep. It's, it's kind of a fucked up tournament structure though. It's like, okay, so... Basically, Earthrealm would have lost the tournament if Liu Kang had lost there. Or if he loses against Shang Tsung. 
And everyone's just like, who's going to come up? Who is it? Who's going to have won the match? Because no one saw it. Which is dumb. But how did the portal magic know to open up? Uh, when the when the match was over, like, and how did Liu Kang get up to it? Did he just jump up into the portal because he was out of the ceiling? Shang Tsung, only one fight remains. Face me in Mortal Kombat. Your soul is mine. So you don't say your soul is mine. One fight. I have to I have to love though how Shang Tsung's portrait is just of the younger version. Like set to set to and Cyrax got the older versions done, but the but uh, Shang Tsung doesn't. Damn you, Shang Tsung. It, it's kind of funny how Bo Rai Cho, the, the fat drunkard from Outworld, he's the one who, um, uh, he's, he, uh, he's the one who, um, taught, that uh, taught Liu Kang the flying kick. Well, at least he wasted, wasted his gauge on an x-ray move when, when it was too late for it to really matter. Fight. Nice, uh. Fuck you then, man. No. Damn it. Yeah, I'm definitely not changing from beginner. This game's way too hard, man. See, that, that basically, without, without the kick, that's basically Shang Tsung's, uh, in, in Liu Kang's fatality, rather, from MK1. Don't know why the hell said Shang Tsung. Shit. I'm fucked. No! Let's try again. Let's see if we can beat him this time. I've actually done a, f a full let's play of um, of a fighting game before. I don't think I have. Well, I'll definitely have to do that thing where I basically just just skip over uh, the, the failed attempts. Like, if I fail too many times in one match, which as I get to, to fighting Shao Kahn will happen. If I fail like if I fail twice, I'll just have to like just skip it. Fuck. See, I could have used the X-ray move. I just didn't want to waste it. Round two. So, so now I've still got it. What the fuck? Fuck her. It, it didn't amount to anything. What the fuck? So is his X-ray a counter move? Because I think it is. You know, at, at this point, I have to use, use up my gauge as much as I can because it's all or nothing. If I, if I lose, I, then it's over. So I have to go all out. Ah, take this! Well, I was planning Say it. to finish him with a flying kick, which is canonically how Liu Kang defeated uh, Shang Tsung. And that's always been consistent. I could see. They, use it to represent, yeah. they use it to represent his victory in, in the MK2 intro. They showed it off in a MK... Uh, Shaolin uh, Monks kept that detail in. They even showed it in the, flat, in the vision thing here. I wanted to win that way, but I just had to cheese it out because Shang, Shang Tsung was a, a cheating bastard. See, like, Kano just wanders off with the villains. Like, why? He's not supposed to work for them yet. And Kitana looks back and Liu Kang's like, yeah, I'm gonna crush that puss! Because that's totally how Liu Kang talks. And Raiden's like, yeah, you did it, man. And Liu Kang's like, yep, yeah, I'm the best. And Raiden's like, he did it. <gasps> oh no, it's getting worse. How can this be?